This lady just drove all the way from Oklahoma so that I could help her trailer load her horse. Can you just tell us a little bit about the, the kind of challenges you've had with trailer loading and how long it took to, to get here? It took three hours to load her and then I had to have help. She just doesn't go on. She's loaded 15 times and only one of them has been positive. Every other time has been a nightmare. Let's see how long it takes me to help teach that horse to get into the trailer. I'm a really bad horse. I'm not doing that ever again. Now we have, we're taking bets on how long this is going to take. So, so these guys over here are, uh, <laughs> one person was pretty ambitious and they said 12 minutes. And then I think the rest were around 20 minutes. So, so leave, leave a comment below and let me know how long you think this is going to take to get four feet in the trailer. Not to have it like finished training session, but just, oh, now look, she's going to walk right in. That's all I need to see. Perfect. I just like to see the approach that you're using, you know. Yeah. All right, I'll take her from here. The biggest challenge that comes up for us is we see the trailer, and the closer they get to the trailer, usually the more pressure we put on trying to make them kind of get all the way on the trailer. And what we really need to do is make it uncomfortable to be off the trailer back here, okay? So the idea is the hot lava's here. The relief is right there. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to back her up a little ways first, and then I'm going to step back and I'm going to put a feel on the halter because I'd actually rather lead her into the trailer versus sending her into the trailer. Now, she has a habit of going over here to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to say to her, it's hot lava over here and put pressure on her over here. Hot lava's there. Now she made an effort to get squared up to the trailer. Now there's where the relief is. So she's licking and chewing kind of letting down there, and that's the key. But I'm gonna reinforce this habit with her a little bit of stepping off, because right now I can see that's where the hole is, is right here, she's, she's kind of learned to push through pressure, right there. And so you can see, I'm kind of picking some things to fix and work on that are away from the trailer. There we go. And she's gonna say, what would you just, do you guys see her make a conscious effort to go towards the trailer? And now I'll say, okay, you can go there. That's where the relief is. Or if you wanna come back over here, I'm not gonna talk you out of coming over here. So one of the biggest mistakes I could make with her is to try to make her go to the trailer. Or try to keep, I'm sorry, try to keep her on the trailer if she tries to come off. If she wants to come off the trailer, let them come off. If somebody, you know, was gonna like hold you down to, to give you a shot or something like that, that's gonna be way more scary than if you made a choice to stay there, right? So if she wants to come off, I want her to know that she can retreat. Because I need to prove to her that it's not about her getting on the trailer. It's about building this kind of conversation. So she thought about it and then she looked over here and this is where the pressure is. So there's pressure on over here, there's pressure on over here. And the relief is here. You want to come off the trailer? Have at it. And I'll just, I'll just kind of sign her up to her idea. She wants to come over here. So I'll just go, okay, let me help you come over here. Now I'll put a feel on the halter and ask her to come forward there. So the strategy that Debbie was using was to ask her to lead forward with the trailer by pulling on the halter. <laughs> what was the time? Two minutes, 49 seconds. Oh. <laughs> so it doesn't take long to figure out that horsemanship is more of a journey than a destination. It's challenging, it can be difficult, it can be emotional, it can be dangerous. And I think that it's important for everybody to have a mentor through that process. I would like to be your mentor and I can do that through my Patreon page. We have detailed training videos on there. We have monthly giveaways. You can ask me questions about your horse or even do video coaching. I'll leave a link in the description below. Look forward to seeing you on there. So now that she wants to come off trailer, now I want her to go back. But the reason I was backing her up and then putting a feel on the halter and tapping her 
is because Debbie was using the halter to ask her to come forward into the trailer. And I like that approach more than sending a horse into a trailer. Because sending them in, they can jump in too fast and get a bit bothered and upset by it. And, <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> so I would, I actually prefer training horses to lead into a trailer over sending them in. If they lead into the trailer really solidly and have good habits, then there's nothing wrong with sent, teaching them to send in also. That develops a little bit more of their self-confidence with it. This is more like following the leader into the trailer, but this is the lower risk way of teaching it, is the way I'm setting it up right here. If I, excuse me, if I send her in and she could go in here and whirl around, she could jump out of the trailer and scare herself and not want to get back on. I know because I've done it. <laughs> and, and that way just doesn't work as well as teaching them to lead in. And I actually learned it from Mustangs. And it wasn't until I started teaching Mustangs to lead into the trailer first that I started having better success. Now, what I really like about this mare is she, she chose to stay in that trailer there all on her own. I, I'm asking her to come out now because I got bored. <laughs> but she was, she was doing really good in there. But there are some bad habits that she has. So put a feel on the halter and then give her that little tap right there. So again, the pressure is on over here. And the relief is in the trailer. Now this was interesting. She really walked all the way in this time. Like she's getting a little more sure about it, you know, more like, yep, I can do this. So we'll take that. Now she's looking at some of the hay, eating hay. So that, that's a really good sign. She's really chill. That's great. So I'm gonna back her off. And then Debbie, are you ready? Is it okay, I'll have Ellie hold your horse for just a second. And we're gonna do a little simulation. Cause I'm gonna show you, you're gonna practice the technique on me. Okay, so just hang out with her there. Here you go. Now, you have permission to whack me with a stick. Don't be weird about it. <laughs> but don't do it too hard. No, but you can't, no, you're gonna have to whack me. That's right. Cause just seeing if you're paying attention. Okay, so I'm the horse and I'm going over here. I'm not quitting. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to no? hit you. I don't want to hit you. You gotta do you gotta do more than that. No, I can't. I you can't, can't you have to. No, you have to. I can't hit you. you have to. No, I can't. You can. You can. No, no. Oh. Ooh. Oh, can you? Now stop. Because I finally gave the pressure. So that hole that you just had of why you couldn't put more pressure on me is the same reason she learned to push through you over there. Because I can't put enough pressure on her. You can. You didn't. I put a lot of pressure. Like it probably felt like a lot. I'm sure it felt like, I know it felt like a lot, yeah. but it, it wasn't, okay? So now you finally got me to step off here. So now use the lead rope and ask me to back up. No, no, like, a, like, oh, like, like backing, yeah. So you're backing me up, backing me up. Now, when you let me go, quit backing, step back and draw a feel on the rope and let the string out and do one swing. Don't hit me with it, but just back over here. And now we're loading up, exactly. But just don't let me, don't let that happen. Oh, yeah. Does that make sense? You gotta ran it now, you won't have to deal with this rope. Okay, let's come on back out. But you just gotta manage your rope. Does that make sense everybody? You gotta keep track of all that while you're going in. So when you turn around, you drug that and you drug this, and then the horse would step on it. Imagine the horse goes to walk in the trailer and hits that rope, and, and the horse goes, that stupid trailer? because she's going to associate the trailer with stepping on the rope. Does that make sense? That's why we have to be mindful of all these different things, because the trailer would have gotten the credit for stepping on the rope and panicking because of that. Okay? I'm a really bad horse. No, I'm not. <laughs> I like how she went for the head at the end. <laughs> Dang, I'm not doing that ever again. Okay, now let's do the back up again. No, put a feel. And then what do you do here? Put a feel here. 
because this is your cue to bring her up. So the, the feel on the rope has to be first. Okay. Then secondary is the tap on the butt with the string. And you have to touch her, not hard, but just, yeah. And that would have been a little too hard. Now be careful about your ropes. Feel on this. As soon as you let that go, put a feel here and then add that. There we go. All right, give her a hand, guys. That would have been the successful loading. So practice that with me. Now let's grab your horse. <laughs> okay, time out. <laughs> what did you just say when you come out of the trailer? Oh, I don't know. You gotta change your attitude. I know, my, I'm super anxious. Take a deep breath. <sighs> this is simple. Are you having a little bit of fun? Yes. This is simple? Yeah. This is fun. You can do it. Okay. Say it. You need to say it. I can do this. Show me that sequence. Use the, use the halter. Back her up. Back her up. Now step back. Put a feel on the halter. Draw her to you. Tap on the butt. Not too much. Now go in the trailer. Well, that was cool. Yeah, she did it quicker than me. <laughs> Just pet on her, and whenever you're ready, go ahead and back her off. Let's give her a hand, guys. She did great. We're going to quit you there. So did I win the bet? Who won the bet? Ellie, Ellie. Ellie gets her dinner paid for. She is 30 seconds off. Wow. That, that was pretty optimistic, too. I thought 12 minutes was the earliest. Well, two and a half minutes she got in the trailer. Yeah, <laughs> tell, was, I, tell us what your thoughts were on that. I, flabbergasted. I can't believe she got on that fast. I knew she would for you, but I can't believe that she did for me. All the things and the places that I was standing, I, I was in all the wrong position. It mm. just took watching you to do it. Well, I think, I think the two things that you're going to have to keep in mind, in the, we're going to practice this tomorrow morning when the clinic continues here, but um, for when you're at home is just owning your space when you go up to the trailer and she tries that little pivot mood you got to go there's no relief right there you don't have to go all the way in the trailer and like we're breaking into steps but you got to kind of square up to the trailer and be, be in a position to load up so that's going to be a really key thing because that, that's where you let me push yep. you around so you got to own your space there and say nope you can't because she was pushing through me when we first started with that and then that other part is if she ever does refuse at the trailer that back up and then add a little pressure back there is a pretty easy way to make the horse clear it's the, there's no pressure at the trailer the pressure is back here relief at the trailer yeah it was so. it was amazing awesome well thanks for letting me use it thanks for letting us film this and a lot less than three hours this time <laughs> <laughs> yeah so all right thank you guys for tuning in we'll see you on the next one